Welcome to Puff Puff Bass Season 6. <laughs> I actually planned that last night, our nice little introduction to, yeah, the sixth season. So six years of Puff Puff. I know last year was a little jacked up because of COVID, but it is uh, March 20th, Saturday. It's 50 degrees out. Tomorrow's supposed to be 60 degrees out. So uh, today is the inaugural, get the boat ready for spring day. And tomorrow I'll be taking her out for the first time. So I sold the old smoker craft, picked up the new tracker, uh, you saw me get her ready and then put her to bed. So today's going to be a little video of how to prepare your boat for spring. Same stuff you saw me put away. I'm just going to do it again, get some views, restoke the fire, do all that stuff. So I'm going to go eat some breakfast, drink some coffee. We're going to pull her out here and start the process. And then uh, tomorrow we hit the water. So puff, puff, thy mule back in action. Hope you'll see Uncle Canada tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but... Uh, quality to be had so and it's beautiful out i'm in shorts and a t-shirt it's nine in the morning and uh, it's not even that chilly so puff puff so it's always fun getting the boat ready for the season it just takes a couple hours worth of work at least how i do it like i said every time i do a how-to or what i'm doing video i like the disclaimer saying i do it my way and i'm showing you if you do it your way and want me to know or you think i'm an idiot then tell me so if you go watch my winter rise bass boat video, sat them on a nice piece of wood all winter, kept them trickle charged. These are good to go. Got to bring these up to the garage. Got all kinds of gear and line and jigs and more line and soft peas and spinner baits and cranks. Got too many rods to go through but all kinds of gear but but i lied because my three primary du jours are strung up rigged up my primary tackle and boat stuff is organized and packed up so knowing that the weather was going to be good this weekend this is kind of like the man cave basement cabin kind of area there's all kinds of fish stuff is where i watch tv and sports and stare at all my cool fishing stuff i uh knew i was going to be going out this week i need a day to prep the boat to get ready really only two three hours maybe a little less or more i just work slow and i like to go over everything um so i decided well if i'm going to be going out fishing for the first time i need to go through my gear for the first time so i did that during the week it's all about planning ahead and preparations and now I get the boat itself ready, throw all my gear in it tomorrow morning, wake up early, and send it. So we got our batteries, five gallons. There's less than a gallon left in her. So that'll top her off, be enough to go out for tomorrow. And if you remember, I labeled my batteries with crank and accessories and min. Obviously, it's obvious if you know what you're looking at, it just saves 10 seconds. I labeled the wiring in there too. And yes, dad sandals are very important. I'm going to pull her out. We'll take off the cover and do this in the daylight. It's nice and warm out already. Only going to get warmer and uh, restore her to her former glory. Get the gas in, get the batteries in, get all the gear straightened out, organized. And uh, I can't wait to crank her up here in a little bit. Definitely nice for her to see daylight again. I'm sure she likes it as well. Uh, definitely will be fun tomorrow. Get out there. I'm going to fish for sure, but... Um, Crank up that motor, do some slow running around for 10, 15 minutes, and then actually want a boat, burn some fuel, run through her, let her warm up again. Um, I've only got about 18 hours on the motor so far, so uh, they recommend service every 100 hours. I'll probably do it at the end of this season. If I double it up, let's just say I get close to 50 hours, um, you know, plugs and maybe an impeller, just depending on how hard we go. Um, but she's ready to rock, so... Ah. 
So tips and tricks, Tony Hawk style. I kept her in the garage all winter. She'll always stay in the garage. Um, she's never seen the outdoors unless she was going fishing. So you're probably wondering why did you have it covered in the garage? Well, it's covered, stored for the winter. I have gear stored in there. Um, the amount of dust and, you know, just accoutrement that accumulated on the cover over the winter was proof alone because I gave her a nice bath, put the cover on, put her away. It just keeps everything nice and uh, extra clean. So um, shake out the cover now, put the cover away, and then uh, we'll get to town. So that's why I habitually and always will forever give the boat a nice bath before I put her away as well. I'll clean it, you know, a quarter of the way through the season, midway through the season, then at the end of the season and as necessary, but give her a couple nice scrub downs. But so now I just pulled the cover off. You watched me do it and she's spick and span. So I can just go out. She's not dirty. A little bit of dust particles, but she's ready to go. Beautiful boat. I always loved this boat. I love the color. I love the way the vinyl deck I mean, is just a beautiful boat. So we got our throwable preserver. Anchor always stays in there. Nothing in here except pee cups for the ladies. Yes, we do rinse them out. Minn Kota foot pedal. Pull that out because I'm going to be using it. What do we got in here? Ooh, PFDs. So this is all stuff that's just how I stored it for the winter. So we'll put our PFDs down in there. We got our tower light, our paddle, and our net, which are nice to store in here. The fishing destination. First thing you're gonna do is pull out your rods and then pull out your nets and all that other stuff. So put these in here now. And then down here we have our kit of glory. Go watch previous videos, all the good stuff in there. Flashlights, electrical tape, screwdriver, multi-tool, all the stuff you would need. And same thing in here. Got my complete rope. Go through all this real quick. You know, goggles, nice ratchet. You know, just stuff you may need on the water. This dad keeps it real. I do. I try. And then down in here, fire extinguisher, extra small paddle, seat pedestals, towels, extra ratchets, more rope. Garbage bags, don't litter, don't be a pig. Extra plano, just extra stuff. So the boat is open for business. So I'm gonna attempt to get these batteries in. Uh, if you go watch the video of me putting the boat to bed, uh, getting them out was insanely difficult because the rear trough compartment is maxed out with space. I guess they tried to give us the biggest gas tank possible while still fitting the batteries in there, which I appreciate, except twice a year when I have to put them in and take them out. So I'll do another time lapse thing and I'll show you connecting them and how I labeled them and be nice and fun. So again, so the crank battery goes in this first slot and then the Minn Kota battery goes in this vertical slot. There's no way to do it easily. Gas tank's 11 gallons. So let me try and do this. It's going to be a pain. I'm going to time lapse. This is going to suck. All right, so now you can actually see why getting them out was such a chore. The first time getting them back in wasn't as bad as I expected because I knew. But I have to take the Minn Kota battery here bring it vertical and then spin it and then pull it out vertical in order to just grab this one and pull it out so in order to get this back in I have to slot that one in which wasn't so bad and then when I put it in vertical and then kind of spun it and twisted it in so I guess now that I know it's not such a big deal so that's done so I guess let's see if the batteries have power <laughs> all right mission accomplished so when I ran her down at the end of last year, I believe I left under a gallon and there may be about a gallon. So let's turn on the key and see. It shouldn't go much above where it is now. Whoa, look who it is. <laughs> I thought he might stop by, but as you can see, there's no gas in there. I'm gonna be putting a red can in there, five gallons. Shall we uh, give her the inaugural start for the year? She should turn right over. All the accessories work. I mean, 
That's a fresh new phone. Yeah, the it's nice. it's the medium twelve or whatever. The quality is fucking amazing with that. You're really amazing. All right, we'll see if it will turn over. <laughs> See, that's the best part about not having a two smoker, no cold start. Quality She's been sitting. I put her away the day before Halloween. Quality of mercury four strokes. Alright, the jet drive. Alright, so little hiatus. I guess again you wouldn't know because it's not constant, but Uncle Canada was here. We're actually gonna head to the river tomorrow. So I guess that'll be its own edit though. First day out. This is getting the boat ready. Motor starts, batteries are in. Minn Kota works. I guess I didn't show you that, but you hook up the battery, you hook up the foot pedal, it works. Uh, getting all the gear back in place, all that good stuff. And then uh, now I got to put on all these letters and Ohio stickers. So I got the license plate on, I'm just doing the do. So. so we got the plate on, we got our stickers on both sides, got to be red left to right. So on this side, it's obviously gonna be different than this side, just going opposite directions. Took my time, Uncle Canada stopped by. We uh, fine tuned things. He's actually gotten into fly fishing quite a bit. I might foray into that, so maybe you'll see some fly type stuff in the future. We got our real lucky Puff Daddies, all the good stuff. PuffPuffBass.com if you want shirts, stickers, merch, all that good stuff. You know the drill. Got a brand new bag of beer nuts to throw in the live well for snacks. This will probably last half a season. And beer nuts. Well, it's uh, early afternoon. I just got to go through some gear to prepare for the trip tomorrow, but I'm pretty much there. Boat is registered, ready to go. Clean, assembled. She starts, she runs. Um, I don't really know what else much there is to say. Um, take good care of your stuff, keep good inventory of your stuff, keep it clean, keep it organized. And uh, when you go to put it away or get it ready for the season or just take it out or go on a trip or use it for an hour or, you know, makes your life a lot easier. Um, after having a boat for so many years now, um, you know, you just develop your own style of how you do things, what you don't like, what you do like, what helps, what doesn't help, uh, preparations, all that, you know, you name it. So, um, if there's anything you want to know more about, again, this is a 2020 Tracker Pro 170. I've had her for just over a year now. Um, if there's anything else more you want to know about this boat or about my process or if you think I'm an idiot for doing something or just leave comments, feedback, all that good stuff. Um, if you subscribe to the channel and watch all of our other videos, you can kind of see that. Uh, I mean, you can kind of see how we do things, so... Uh, I'm going to put her back in the garage for the night. I always keep her in the garage stored. And uh, tomorrow morning we'll be pulling her out and going to PA. So that'll be a separate video. Welcome to Puff Puff Bass Season 6. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So uh, Puff Puff out. Comment, subscribe, like PuffPuffBass.com. Grab some stickers and shirts and I'll send you some extra free stuff. So um, thank you. Puff Puff out. Yeah.